Hello everyone. Today I'm here to talk about some uh, interesting new technologies we've been working on that are going to be demonstrated actually over in Korea pretty soon. Uh, I'm at the McNamara building and I'm going to talk a little bit about this technology demonstration called Jupiter. It actually was in uh, for the Baltimore Sun about a month ago and it provides uh, ECBC an opportunity in support of the JPEO Chem Bio Defense to demonstrate technologies in the area of biosurveillance. And what the ATD is going to demonstrate is biosurveillance information gathering, analysis, and early warning for potential uh, disease. Now, you've heard biosurveillance talked about for a while, and in simplest terms, what it is is the ability to identify emerging disease anywhere in the world in advance. If a pandemic occurs, it really has no borders, so it's going to move across the globe very quickly. And any massive outbreak of disease is a national security threat, just like a chemical event or a radiological event. And luckily, our biosciences team here, led by Dr. Peter Emanuel, have been working in this area for over two years. He just got back recently from a site visit in Korea where the demonstration will be occurring. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Peter to tell you more about it. Thanks, Joe. The Jupiter Advanced Technology Demonstration is born out of lessons learned from the ABLE Response Exercises held each year in Korea. The next ABLE Response Exercise is to be held in June. The Jupiter ATD is really a complex ATD that's composed of parts that involve part early warning, part detection, part aerosol sciences, part computational sciences. Many components within ECBC are contributing to the success with our JPEO partners, aerosol sciences, CB detection, biosciences, information management. Jupiter is composed of four legs. The first leg is what's called the Biological Identification Capability Set, or BICS. Essentially, it's augmentation of laboratory analysis capability. Samples are triggered in theater. We need to be able to analyze them quickly. By augmenting the laboratory capability in close proximity to those sites, we can quickly get the samples to the laboratory and analyze them. The second leg is the assessment of environmental detectors, what we call the shoot-off, taking large autonomous-based environmental detectors and putting them out there in the field in a head-to-head -head comparison. This is going to use our ambient breeze tunnel and aerosol sciences capability here. The third leg within the Jupiter ATD is the early warning component. The early warning component relies upon the multifunctional suite called the Kraken, nicknamed by soldiers at Redstone Arsenal in Alabama. The multifunctional suite allows non-CB and CB detectors to create a common operating picture to warn about impending biological attacks. The fourth leg and the final leg is what's called the biosurveillance information portal. Essentially, it's an iGoogle desktop that provides information to public health practitioners. All of these legs work in concert to create a greater awareness of the Pacific Theater to provide greater biosurveillance protection for our troops. ECBC is proud to be working with our JPEO partners on the Jupiter ATD. Over the next two and a half years, you can expect to hear more about what we're doing to make our soldiers safer. Thank you.